Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And today I am back in my car. The windows are rolled down and there's a crazy amount of birds so I can't really do anything about it. I have to keep the windows down because it is so hot today and this is all I got. So thank you for bearing with me but i just wanted to share 50 things that you can do when you're quarantined and you're stuck in your home or backyard or wherever you're at so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video Learn an instrument, that's the first thing I got for you. And I think this is the perfect time to pick up an instrument since we're gonna be sitting at home for a while. That's actually what Alex has been doing. He's been learning how to play guitar and ukulele. So I recommend doing that just cause it's fun. Fun skill to have. Read a book and actually read a physical book. Like don't read on the internet, don't read a Kindle, but read a real book with pages. There's just nothing like it, okay? <laughs> Try a new makeup look, and this is definitely the time to do it because there's no one that's gonna be judging you for whatever you test out. So it's the time to experiment, and I know that we have a bunch of palettes that we haven't really dug into because they might be too bold of colors. Get ahead on homework. I know this is probably the last thing that you wanna hear, but it's very important for us college students since we have all the time in the world to get ahead on homework. Deep clean your room. And this is something we should all try to do because we're gonna be spending a lot of time in our room, so we might as well be putting in some effort to keep our room clean. Play some card games. Alec and I played Skippo the other night, if you've ever played that, which is a really fun game. You could also play Hand and Foot, you could play Uno, Slap, cook something. I am not gonna be cooking anything because I really don't like cooking, but you should be cooking something. Try out a new recipe from Pinterest or something like that. That leads me into the next one, which is go on Pinterest and just pin some images that make you feel excited about life. I feel like there's a lot of pictures like that on Pinterest that just make you want to go do something crazy or fun or go on an adventure. So when we are allowed to do that again, you can have some inspiration that you put on your Pinterest board of fun adventures to have. Draw, paint, or color. And I added color at the end of those because not all of us are super artistic, so we can't really draw or paint. So for us, we can use these adult coloring books that you probably have seen everywhere. Wash your makeup brushes because we are cleaning and sanitizing everything right now, so we might as well wash our makeup brushes that touch our face. And I know that you probably haven't washed them in a long time. Thrift flip some of your clothes. And if you don't know what this is, this is just like cropping them maybe styling them a different way, ironing on a patch, sewing them if you're really, really artistic and good at what you do. <laughs> you can do this with maybe a shirt that you have that you don't normally wear or jeans that you want to turn into shorts. Film a YouTube video <laughs> like I'm doing right now. I've heard so many people that say they want to start a YouTube channel and then they just have so many excuses. But now you have no excuses. You literally have all the time in the world to paint your nails. This is the time my nails are looking crusty because I have had acrylics on for several months. So I'm giving them a break right now. But this is the time to paint your nails, make yourself feel good and look good for no one because <laughs> we have no one to impress right now. Take a bath, use those bath bombs that you have been saving for a rainy day. This is the rainy day to use the bath bombs. So pamper yourself, take a bath and watch a show or listen to a podcast. Binge a series. And I know that we normally think of like TV shows when we think of this, but you can also binge a movie series. We've been watching a lot of Marvel movies in my house. So you could do that or you could watch Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, any of those shows, not shows, any of those movie series that you like or have never seen before. You can tan or self tan if you don't really have a way to go outside. But if you have the privilege of having a backyard, you can tan in your backyard or you can self tan, which is what I'm gonna be doing. 
in my home so you can also do that obviously put on a face mask we love face masks giving your skin just extra little love while you're just sitting around doing nothing delete all your unused apps and there's a way to look for this on your settings you can actually see what apps you use the least and from there, you can just delete them, get rid of them off of your phone, get dressed up. I know that you're not gonna be going anywhere, but it makes you feel good and it makes you feel somewhat normal when we actually get dressed up for the day. So get dressed up, put on some lipstick, put on a dress even if you want. Take some time to drive around. This is still considered social distancing because you don't really have to be with anybody when you're going on a drive, but put on some of your favorite music that makes you feel good and just take a drive wherever you want. Pick out outfits you can wear when this whole thing is over. Going on Pinterest and getting some inspiration, that's kind of what I've been doing. I haven't really been online shopping, but I've been online inspiring myself for some cute outfits for when I actually go out into the public again. Journaling. If you have just recently subscribed to me, you probably don't know this, but I'm a huge advocate for journaling. So I recommend journaling because it is so good for the soul to get your thoughts and feelings out on paper. Create a budget for yourself. A lot of us are not spending that much money, at least for me, because we're not going anywhere. Honestly, I haven't spent a lot of money, so that has been good for my bank account. And now is the time to create a budget for what your normal income would be and your normal bills would be. Go hammocking. I love hammocking. Go get yourself a hammock and find some trees. And it is just so soothing to be out in nature and to just be by yourself in a hammock. You can bring some music, journaling, like I was talking about earlier or just anything you want to do in your hammock. It's just so chill. There are so many positive vibes in a hammock, so get yourself a hammock off of Amazon if you don't have one yet. Rearrange your room because it's kind of nice to have a new space set up when we're kind of feeling unmotivated because when you rearrange your space, it just kind of gets you inspired. I don't know, it gets me inspired. Take a walk on a trail, make sure you're still social distancing, but you can go out in nature and there won't be anyone out there. So I recommend doing this. My little city has a really nice trail that you can walk on. Exercise. I know you probably heard this and you do not want to exercise right now, but I just did a few at home exercises the last few days and it has felt so good. So do some exercises as much as you don't want to. Put on your exercise clothes and it'll get you into the exercise spirit. <laughs> Try a new hairstyle. Also like the makeup look. No one is gonna judge you for it right now. So might as well try a new hairstyle. There's a lot of fun videos on it or Pinterest ideas. Give yourself a little makeover. I've seen some videos where people are changing their entire look to look like someone else. And I feel like that would be so fun to do. So. Give yourself a little makeover and look like someone different for a day. Everyone's been doing this already, but make some TikTok dances, I guess. I haven't done it yet, but I probably will get bored enough at this point to make some TikTok dances. So might as well just be cringy because who's stopping you? Dye your hair. <laughs> so many people have been doing this on YouTube now. So if you're bold enough, dye your hair. Read old journals or diaries and look at old pictures. Might as well get yourself in your feels at some point. <laughs> so I feel like this is a fun thing to do is to look back on old memories and you can either smile or cry about them however you feel about those memories. Play a sport outside. Just the other day I played some volleyball outside and that felt really good to do. So get active if you don't want to exercise. Just toss a ball around. Pull an all-nighter. I know people do this on a regular basis, but I haven't done this in a few years. So pull an all-nighter, have some fun FaceTiming somebody, get some energy drinks. Plan a fun trip for when this is all over. I know plane tickets are like super cheap right now. So plan a fun trip or fun road trip. Reach out to someone that you haven't talked to in a while because we're all bored here. So we want some social interactions. So <laughs> call somebody up, write a letter. 
some of my friends are actually doing this right now and they asked for my address so might as well write a letter an actual old school handwritten letter make some bracelets whether it's little friendship bracelets or the ones with beads that could be a fun activity to do if you really want to be a visco girl for a day <laughs> have a picnic which you can do indoors or outdoors so just grab some snacks some drinks I personally am a Martinelli's kind of girl. <laughs> Whatever else you want at your picnic and just throw a blanket out. Research some new music, find some new playlists. You can do that on Spotify. Go through your phone contacts because I'm sure that you have some people on there that you don't talk to anymore. So might as well delete them because free some storage up on your phone. <laughs> Spend some time thinking. I mean, life is so fast at some times that it is good to sit down and just think and process, love that word, processing. <laughs> Clean out your inbox or email. I just did that today and it feels so good to have it empty. Create a vision board if you didn't do this for 2020. Vision boards, if you don't know, it's just like a board that you have all of your goals for the year on, whether they're travel related, personal, relational, social, social is the same thing as relational financial any types of goals that you have having them on a board and somewhere where you can see keeps them in your mind and makes them seem more attainable listen to a podcast sermon or ted talk i personally will listen to sermons out of all of those options but i know a lot of people right now like podcasts so i recommend listening to some of those back up your electronics because you would hate the day that you would lose all your pictures and everything because you didn't back them up take an online course i know there might cost something but you could find some for free and just learn something new because this is the time. And the last one is subscribe to me because I'm here and I'm making videos and I'd love for you to be part of it. So there's my shameless self promo at the end. Thank you for bearing with me. My filming setup is kind of frustrating to me right now because I really love filming videos and it's really hard for me to. You have no idea how many interruptions I had just filming this video right now. So I appreciate it and I hope you guys found something to do in all the free time that you have. Let me know if you liked this video and comment down below any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye guys.